How's training camp been going for you so far? It's going well, man. It's just um, I'm trying to take advantage of every type of every opportunity presented to me, man. And I'm just thankful, man. Thank God. And I'm just trying to, uh, you know, uh, maximize everything, every opportunity I have. Last off season was not normal at all. Being an undrafted rookie coming into the league, you didn't get to have preseason games, and you were battling injuries during camp, so you were out for a good chunk. Uh, how much has it benefited you to have? A more normal off season and the ability to be out in the field and playing in front of fans on Saturday night. It's definitely been a yeah, it's just uh, the energy, man. Uh, you know, the excitement of things coming back to normal, and um, you know, I just have to be thankful, I'm grateful for my teammates. You know, the DB room has been very supportive. You know, just being able to pick everybody's brain and uh, having that time just just to build and learn and allow me to play as fast as I can. You get to play your first NFL game against the Raiders. How would you assess your performance in the game? Saturday game, I'm sorry. How would you assess how you played Saturday night? It was your um, first chance to actually play yeah. in the NFL game. Yeah, so. and that was a great, man. It was a dream come true for me. And that was my first NFL game that I actually got to play in. So, I mean, you know, I finally got my feet wet. And, uh, definitely, you know, I feel like I did all right. <laughs> Yeah. What, what's been the, you know, what was the biggest challenge coming from an FCS school, coming to the NFL? What was the biggest challenge for you trying to adjust to playing for this team, especially given the circumstances weren't normal last year? Um, the biggest challenge for me was just uh, adjusting to the speed, you know, and um, you know, having the, and the, and the opportunity to slim, to, you know, to learn a playbook. You know, it's just had, I had to get I had to get adjusted really fast, especially with the OTAs and stuff last year. You know, so I had to learn all that stuff on the fly during camp. You mentioned the defensive scheme. How much easier is it now in year two to be able to go out there and execute your assignments? Yeah, it's like it's like night and day, man. It's just this thing that now you know the de defense. I'm, I'm a lot more comfortable. You know, I know every call. I know I know where I'm supposed to be positioned. So it's like. All I have to do is just go out there and make plays and play fast. You mentioned the defensive back room, the corner room. You've got a lot of new faces there, but who's been most helpful for you in your transition coming from Stony Brook to playing the league? Um, guys like DJ Reed, um, everybody really, everybody. I can't even single anybody out, you know, because I, I, uh, you know, I come to everybody, you know, for points and uh, you know. Just anything yeah, right. for tips, anything that I need to be a better player, I, I go to everybody and everybody welcomes me with open arms. So just everybody in the room has been helpful for me. I'm going to show off my uh, football nerdism here a little bit. Do, do you prefer the cornerback spot? Uh, do you prefer to use the read step or the mirror step when you're in press? Uh, it depends. It depends who I'm going against. You know, if it's a guy with a little more speed, and I prefer the read step. Get more hands on, uh, you know. Gonna be good. Depends, yeah, how I'm feeling. <laughs> so it's mostly about who you're going yeah, up it's, against. It's all about the matchup. Could, could certain situations dictate? Yeah, and then certain situations, you know, like uh, you know, third and short. When I when I when I'm thinking it's a, you know, a shorter route, you know, I kind of want to, you know, mirror, you know, just so I can get a good break on the ball, or you know, if it's a three step slam or something like that. You've got a couple more preseason games here to continue proving yourself. Uh, being a former undrafted player, getting the chance now to really show what you can do, it, what do you think gives you the best chance this time around to make this roster? Um, I try to not put that pressure on myself, man. I'm just taking it day by day and uh, letting God just guide me and direct me where I need to be and uh, just leaving it all in God's hands and seeing what happens, you know, after the preseason is done. I'm just I'm extremely blessed and grateful that. I'm allowed to play this game, you know. <laughs> There's not a lot of people in this world that had this opportunity, but I'm here. I'm one of them, so and I got it. So I'm just, I'm grateful. That's all I can say about that. I got one last question for you. You are now being coached by Deshaun Shedd, who at one point was an undrafted rookie coming out of an FCS school like yourself. What has that experience been like? Dope. And, uh, it's been great. He doesn't even know. I, I, I didn't play with him in Madden and all that stuff, and it just. <laughs> Just knowing he was an undrafted guy, and then now he's, you know, he's my coach, and I can pick his brain, and every question that I have for him, he's, he's answering. You know, he, he doesn't hesitate to help me. You know, anything that I need, he's given to me. So I think it's been great having him around. Yeah.